Black Myth Wukong is an incredibly fun game to mod, and while modding it is pretty simple, there are a few things we'll need to go over. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it and the important things you should look out for when selecting your mods. Also, this video is specifically for the Steam version of Black Myth Wukong, as it appears that's where most people are playing the game and where the mods are designed to be used. Before rushing off to Nexus mods to transform the Destin 1 into Tifa from Final Fantasy, we'll need to change Black Myth Wukong's launch options in Steam. To do this, right click the game in your Steam library and select Properties. Then under General, you'll see a box that you can type in, meant for advanced users. Enter minus file open log in that box, then simply click out of it. Now head to Black Myth Wukong's local files to add the mod folder. The default location for this is on the screen, or you can simply right click the game again, go to manage, and then select browse local game files. Once you're inside one of the cleanest looking install folders I've ever seen, you'll click on the B1 folder. Now click into content and then packs. Inside packs, you'll make a new folder called tilde mods. A reminder that the tilde key is the key to the left of your one key. If you're not comfortable making this folder, that's fine, as some of the mods you download might come with it. Some don't though, which is why I'm suggesting that you just make it now. Once done, that's all there is to modifying the actual game files. Now, let's download some mods. Nexus Mods continues to be one of the best websites on the internet for modding games, and Black Myth Wukong is no different. Tons of mods are being added every day, so let's check out some of the ones that I've downloaded already. I tried to be diverse in my selection between weapon mods, skins, and even graphics mods. But what you'll discover is that they all install the same way. What will change, however, is what in-game model the actual mod is overriding. First up is the aforementioned Tifa mod. The best practice for modding is to go to the mod page and check both the description and the files. The description will often, but not always, tell you what the mod is changing. For Tifa, we have the main file labeled as beta since it's a work in progress, and then the optional no hair and tail file. We'll go ahead and download that one as well as it's a pretty common pairing with a lot of these mods. Once downloaded, you'll locate the zipped files and unzip them to your tilde mods folder within the Black Myth Wukong directory. And it really is that simple. Load up Black Myth Wukong like you normally would through Steam and you'll discover that the Destin one has now been replaced with the best girl. No longer want to be Tifa? Delete the files from the mod folder and you're back to normal. Let's try another one. This time I want to replace the character and the weapon. Let's go with a Darth Maul skin. First off, you'll notice that the mod only replaces the initial outfit you get from the start. So if you've replaced this outfit in game, the mod will not show up. Now what's a Darth Maul mod without his iconic double bladed lightsaber? So let's find that mod and we're in luck. This skin will replace all weapons. So no need to stress about what's equipped. Choose your color. I'll go ahead and grab red, and we'll copy all of this to the mods folder like we did before. Again, make sure that Tifa is deleted. And there we go. The Destin one is now the Darth one? I don't know. He's not the Phantom Menace. That's, that's Palpatine. This is my apprentice, Darth Maul. All right, let's rush through a couple examples of things you might encounter. I wanted to test something other than skins as I thought the install method might be different. So I grabbed the downgraded Wukong visual mods, which is intended for people who might be having some frame rate issues. To my surprise, it's the exact same install method. Toss your file into the mods folder and you're set. Lastly, I'll mention that some mods are made specifically for the gear that you use in the opening of the game, but lose access to once chapter one begins. Once you start playing as the destined one, you won't have those specific mods until you manage to find the gear from the opening again. So again, look in the description for what exactly the mod is changing. But if your mod isn't working, just know that it was likely made specifically for the gear that you have during the opening sequence. <laughs> And that is a simple tutorial on modding Black Myth Wukong on Steam. For more Black Myth Wukong, check out our many, many guides for the game. Seriously, we've made a lot. And for everything else video games, stick with IGN.